Yeah, so if, if you lose, you get booted from the lobby. There is no warm up, there is no mercy. You're just gone. That's the last man standing. This whole thing is held together with duct tape and string. Yes, this one has a bit of kick sliders, lots of sliders, pretty much a slider fiesta, the whole thing. It's about three minutes long. I wanted to start with a bit of a uh, longer one. This whole lobby is just going to be my guinea pig lobby, which I'm just using people as guinea pigs. This is a uh, score v1 lobby, by the way, because, uh... <laughs> because I hate rhythm. Oh yeah, it's free mod by the way, so uh, you can pick whatever mods you want. Nice, slash thing. So, okay, so Shockwave will actually survive that one. And uh, we have to play this, of course. Best death ever. That's for Mace. Mace is done. <laughs> Mace will be the one eliminated. Alright, so a little bit about this map. This is the first ET of the lobby. It is fairly high AR, like a lot of these players um, are high digits, so you know, AR 9.7. It's AR 8 but goes up to 9.7 with DT. Sandron, we'll give it a little bit of time, but it looks like he's struggling a little bit with AK, 90%. This is an old map, so it's, yeah, like not everyone's comfortable with these, especially at this kind of rank, you know. Players don't often play this sort of map. A lot of slider timing. 180 BPM streams. They're not very big streams, but there are a few streams. Massimo pretty comfortable. Act not the best, but... He's holding combo, that's all that matters. Hmm, it's Vex. I'm actually surprised Vex is last place here. Isn't Vex good at these maps? I thought I knew Vex, I thought he was like an alt player. Maybe it's the AR actually, I know Vex actually doesn't like this AR, that's probably it. It is AR 9.7. Yeah, Vex is in trouble here. He's in a lot of trouble. Let's see how he goes there. So Fuz actually dropped here, so if Vex can hold combo, he might be able to overtake Fuz. Yeah, Massimo's destroying this, look at him go. See, if this was Scorby too, he might be in trouble, but uh, my aim cock. Hold on strong. Oh no, as I say that. Wait, did Vex just gain a shit ton of score? I guess he's holding combo. I just noticed. Vex saying he's washed. It's mind games. <laughs> it's all mind games. Oh, that's it. Wait, is it? No, I lied. <laughs> I don't even know my own maps. All right, Shockwave's in trouble here. We are approaching the final minute. He has about 60 seconds to claw his way back. He's in the middle of Valorant. <laughs> Alright, Massimo's still destroying it. I think he's got this. Shockwave, though. It's like Shockwave versus my aim cock right now. Oh, Foos as well. I just noticed Foos. Yeah, Foos might be done. His combo's very low. Yeah, that's it. I think Foos is done. Oh, so close. That was really back and forth. It was like Vex to Miami Cock to Shockwave to Foos. Oh, wow. So Rip uh, rip Foos, I believe. I'll have to check the MP link for that, but... Uh... <laughs> okay, he just left on his own. No need for the boot. So, uh, for Foos, he gets the honorable death. <laughs> well done, Foos. Rest in peace. So, just uh, something about this map pool, it is sight read, so the maps have not been announced in advance. So, like, obviously that means we have to wait for people to download maps, but also, you know, you don't have any preparation. You're just kind of thrown into it. And I kind of like that style of playing, because you essentially don't have to practice. You just, like, show up on the day and just play. It's nice. So, what is this map? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, so this is actually, um... So it's AR 8.5, so players not comfortable with this AR should probably pick Hard Rock. It is CS 3.5, so, you know, Hard Rock makes it like 4.5, 4.8, something like that. So honestly, probably pretty favoured for high AR players if they want to pick Hard Rock. I'm not sure if anyone did, though. Looks like we have Massimo with Hidden. Okay, so no one's picked Hard Rock. Probably should have uh, mentioned that on, in the chat. 
but uh, hopefully everyone's okay with this AR. It is a very, like, dense map. Like, there, there's a lot of shit on the screen. So we're gonna see a lot of variation, I think, here. I feel like Vex will be very comfortable with this. You can always, already see his AK is very high. He does favor the low AR maps. So Kami's struggling to hold a combo here. Yeah, the AR, you can see him tripping up a little bit. It's very hard to, like, focus on individual notes at this AR. You have to just kind of, like, focus each note. If you merge them together, you're just gonna, like, go in between the notes. And you're not gonna hit any. So Sandron doing very, very well. Bit of an act drop there, but not too bad. So what scores do we have here? Yeah, Kami is in trouble. He has a long way to catch up. I think it'll be like Kami versus Shockwave at the end. Half the map is done. This is a pretty short map. Oh, Kami hit the stream. So if he can hold combo, he might be able to make it. It's very close though. Score V1 does give him the combo favor. Shockwave missed again. Oh, Kel Z though. Tunnel visioning here. Kel Z is just, yeah. He did drop a lot of combo at the end. Oh, it's very close. So holy shit, it is close. It's like 10,000 off on score V1. Oh, oh no. Oh, that was so close. Let's check the replay on that though. Was that, uh... I think that was Kelsey. 137. Yeah, Kelsey lost that by, I think that's like 3,000 points. That was very close. Not 3,000, I think 30,000. Rip kills the... <laughs> Alright, anyone like cats? I love cats. <laughs> very old map, this one. Lots of streams, kind of like low AR, AR9, I guess. It's CS5, CS5 AR9. Yeah, so it's 180, I think 180 BPM streams. 187, okay, so, I mean, 187 streams. Not the hardest thing in the world, but I know some players aren't stream players, so it may be hard for them. Yeah, so AR9 streams can be tricky if you're not used to them. There's not a whole lot of flow, though, in this map. There's not, like, a huge flow requirement. Vex with the first miss there, I think. Or was that Kami? Vex uh, should be okay with this. It is low AR. It's not too aim intense, but it is CS5. In the squares, okay. Slashing with the miss there, might be overtaken, there we go, Kami's in the lead. My aim cock. Struggling a little bit. Alright, it's back and forth now, back to Shockwave. Very close between these two, at the bottom left. Massive on the lead, very good ack. 99% ack, very good. Hit the goat section. Is that a goat or a sheep? No, it's a goat. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. Oh. Yeah, big streams. These are kind of death streams, I guess you could say, at this level. Oh, thirds. Yeah, this bit is nasty. It's a easy... I think, I think everyone dropped there. Except Slashing. Slashing was like the only one not to drop. That was pretty impressive. Especially if you're not expecting it. Remember, everyone is sight reading these unless they are familiar with the map already. But no one has been able to practice this. You just you get one try and you're kicked and that's it. <laughs> My cock. Oh. I think he's out. My cock. Well done, Slashing. Very good score. My aim cock. Yeah. Jump free, Willy. Jump. My aim cock. No. Yeah. Alright, six people remain. Another DT map. This is the second DT of this lobby. Uh, very alt heavy. Not much aim at all. AR 8.5 DT. So, you know, AR 10. 
Might be a bit hard for some players, but there's pretty much no aim involved. It's just all timing. You could probably just single tap this whole thing. It is, uh, 180 BPM. AR10 CS4. 5.4 star, not the hardest thing. This map's so hard. Yeah, I kind of didn't want anyone to really be able to FC anything, because <laughs> it makes it more exciting. I don't know, have we had any FCs yet? I don't think so. They will get harder too, keep in mind. We have a lot of viewers right now, thank you everyone for uh, tuning in. Hope you guys are having fun. Shockwave with, uh, not the best act, but he's holding in there. Hmm. Massimo is pretty comfortable on this. Kami as well. Actually, Kami has a very good act. Massimo is winning because of the, the uh, hidden advantage. So, Slashning. It's very close between Slashning and Shockwave. I think it's going to be between these two. Maybe Vex? Vex does not like AR10. We've seen that <laughs> a bunch of times. He does like ult, but he doesn't like AR10, so... Let's see what happens here. Shockwave has a very low combo, that may be a problem. He's also last place. Can he hold through these little bursty bits? Oh, I missed there, okay. Shockwave's in a lot of trouble. Everyone else is holding on pretty well. Massimo dropped the lead though. Kami doing very well. Very good act. 99%. It's not easy to act this map. Even like, I don't know, three digit players, especially like me, I can't get above 95 on this. I'm not sure what the OD is. I think it's like OD9 or something. OD8. That's with DT, so it's not the hardest thing to get good act on. Yeah, Shockwave is way behind. I don't know if there's enough time. There's like 40 seconds if that. He missed again, yeah. I think I think Shockwave... I think the death video is going to be for Shockwave. To be fair, it is a very, very hard map if you're not used to ult. Very well played Kami, oh my god. I think that's the first FC we've had so far. Very good. Alright, so that was Shockwave. Rip Shockwave. No. Thanks for playing. Oh. Fatality. And he's done. This is more of a reading map. It's AR 9.3, 220 BPM, very high BPM. Um, yeah, very hard to read this. I had a lot of trouble with the patterns in this map when I was practicing it. I would not expect an FC on this. Okay, so this map, yeah, I don't know. How to describe this one? There's like back and forth patterns kind of in like a triangle shape. Very dense. AR 9.5, 220 BPM. And yeah, just generally like weird patterns. I don't know. I'd be surprised if anyone gets a very high combo on this. This is kind of where the maps start getting kind of hard. It's, uh... It's a bit of an uphill battle. So, I think this is pretty long. Yeah, it's 3 minutes 14 seconds. Massimo with an early miss, I think. Maybe just low hack, actually. Yeah, just low hack. <laughs> The sweaty players. It's a little bit nerve-wracking. They're getting, like... We started with 10, now we're down to 5, so... We're in the end game now. I think Massimo has played Hidden on everything, so I guess he's just comfortable with Hidden. Vex is doing very well, wow. Actually, so was, so was Kami. So was Slashing. Am I the only one that struggles with this map? What's going on? Oh, there we go. There's a miss. Yeah, Kami actually hit that. Was he slider break? I think he hit it. He did hit it. Wow. Kami very good at this. 
Once again, these are sight read maps. Like, the map pool is not announced ahead of time. So it's very impressive when people can FC these on a sight read. Average star rating of next lobby? Um, it's like five, six, seven. It's all over the place in the next lobby. The next lobby gets way crazier because it's all like three digit players. This is just the intro lobby. And it's nothing yet. You can single type this. It is only 220. But uh, yeah, very hard to read. So Vex is actually struggling here. I think he's just struggling with the aim, honestly. Aim's not too bad. I think it... What's the star rating on this? 5.46 star. There's not a lot of aim. It's just that it's very fast. 220 BPM jumps. Yeah, this is the, uh, the, the, uh, the pleb lobby. <laughs> the rank deficient lobby. Hmm. It's actually very close between Vex and Slashing. I suppose not that far ahead. So if Vex can hold on here, he should be able to open up score. Slashing might be in trouble here. Yeah, slash thing. Vex is holding on, really good. Kami finally missed. Or did he? No, he missed earlier. Sandron though, huge combo. Very well played. Vex is holding on. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he can... I don't think Slashing can make it. He had a little bit higher combo at the end, but yeah. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> okay. Slashing with a rage quit. Rip slash thing. This is for you. You won't shoot. <laughs> Alright, so next we have an aim map. This is the first aim map of the lobby. It's pretty much pure aim, there's not much to it. A little bit of streams, but mostly pure aim. Alright, we're down to four, so six have been eliminated. I really like this map, it's short. Um Lots of like back and forth jumps. Almost like cross screen, it's pretty rough. It's a six star map, it's the only six star in this pool. There is square, square aims back and forth. There are 190 streams. No reading at all. <laughs> you just need aim, that's about it. So I would expect maybe an FC on this, I guess we'll see. It's not too hard to FC. The intro is pretty much free combo. Vex may have the hardest time on this. He does hold his mouse at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Kami with the first miss. If he can hold the end jumps, he might be able to come back. But yeah, that's not good to miss here. It's, it's very hard to... Like, you wouldn't expect anyone else to miss, so a miss here is pretty, uh, pretty brutal. Here we go, so squares coming up. There are the back and forths. Jump patterns. There's also a few triples thrown in, there are the squares. Squares are probably the hardest thing to hit. Yeah, pretty much misses everywhere. Six star jumps. Alright, Massimo has the highest score here. There is, I think, one more jump section. Here are the streams, 190 streams, so Kami's struggling with the streams a little bit. He did hold the combo there, though. Kami is about 400,000 behind, 500,000. I think that's it, actually. Yeah, this is pretty much free combo. Kami does have a combo lead on Vex, but I don't think there's enough time. It's really close, though. Vex would have to miss, like, right now. Oh my god, that was so close. That was like 2,000. That was really close. Kami and Vex. Oh my god. I like the Vex. <laughs> Vex Ned Stark. And we're down to three. 
So we have had a 220 BPM earlier, two maps ago. This is the 240 BPM. I'd say though, the BPM in this doesn't really matter because it's mostly sliders. Like, you're not mashing, you're not like... It's not stamina intense, it's more reading and it's about following the slider patterns. So I would expect, based on what we've seen so far, I'd expect Massimo to do well in this. He seems to be good at the, uh, like, reading sort of patterns. He's also a hidden player, which may help with this. This map is kind of long, 2 minutes 49. Almost 3 minutes. So the first map was technically tech. We did have kind of like a light tech map on the, th on the uh, third map. Which is the AR uh, 8.5 map. Um, so this is AR 9.4, 240 BPM. Yeah, just big old sliders everywhere. Like slider velocity changes, very hard to predict. And once again, everyone is sight reading this, unless you're familiar with it. So it can be very hard to judge exactly how fast. Like Kami there, Kami just broke on the slider. I think Sandron did too. Very hard to judge the velocity. Massimo missing. Yeah, everyone's kind of struggling with this. This is a tough map. We are definitely in the end game here. It's very close. Still a lot of lot of map left. Yeah, these sliders are just insane. It's so hard to read. Fortunately, once you kind of like read the patterns, it's pretty much the same for the whole map. So beyond this, combos may be a bit higher. Once they've kind of figured out that this is the, this is the map, this is their life. This is what they've signed up for. All right, Massimo. Hmm. It's it's just so hard to judge at this point. It could be anyone's game. Sandron with a good combo lead. He may take first place actually here. Everyone under knives and ack because of all the slider ends probably. <laughs> Slider ends are nasty on this. There we go, Sandron takes it. My mode's to gold. I think he needs butter dripping down his face. A9% A rank, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, Sandron doing very well, he's holding on. This is kind of free combo, almost. Oh wow, did everyone hit those? Yeah, it's like you just have to kind of like know the patterns. And now they know them, it's just the map is just a copy and paste of the first half. Oh man, there's like doubles behind the sliders, it's so rough. Or like a double going into the slider. Kami, I don't know if he has enough time. There's like 30 seconds left. He needs a missing mode to miss like right now. He's almost holding on. Kami miss again. Oh, Massimo missed. I don't know if there's enough time. He has a pretty big score difference here. It's like 50,000. 500,000. There goes Kami. No. Rip Kami. That's all my subs gone. <laughs> They are done. Yeah, that was a hard one. Rest in peace. Kami. Yeah! Two players remain. Yes, this is the final map. Final boss activated. Sandron versus Massimo. A lot of nines in these names. What's going on? Is that how you win? You get like a, a score advantage if you have lots of nines. 29k versus 5k. I was massive my 5k. Damn, you're doing really well, Sandron. You've had on this long. That is insanely impressive. Battle of the 99s. Low star though. This is actually a very, like, probably the third or fourth lowest star map of the lobby. 5.37 star. 170 BPM. This is more of like a reading map. It's kind of like a culmination of all the other maps. There is some aim, but there's not a lot, which is... I think I think that fits, because we only had one aim map. So we've got no mod versus hidden. The light versus the dark. So far it's very even. I don't think we really need the red and green, do we? Because <laughs> it's kind of obvious. 
they will be flicking back a bit at the beginning. Massimo with the hidden mod score advantage. A light show, yeah, it's like a rave. Very Christmassy rave. Sandrum with a minor accolade, doesn't really matter at this point. So some potential drops in this. There are like quad splits, there are thirds, there are sliders, there's everything in this. Slow streams. Both players holding on. Oh, yeah, Massimo didn't hit the split. Sandron very comfortable. Wow, he's actually hitting the splits perfectly. Yeah, this is Sandron's map. This is amazing. Not, I lied. <laughs> Could be anyone's. I feel like hidden with this is very hard because it's like AR9, isn't it? Very low AR. Yeah, if you guys are interested, if you want to do more of these, uh, feel free to join my Discord. I'll also announce on Twitter. And we do take signups ahead of time. We take some players on the day, but mostly signups. Yeah, Massimo's struggling a bit. It's kind of... Okay, they've both broken. Massimo's act is a lot worse. I mean, at this point, I'd have to say Sandron is the favourite to win, because the patterns don't really change much. There's no, like, curveballness. It's just straightforward. Like, splits and alt-style. Low BPM streams. Combos are very similar. But yeah, the score difference. Sandron is just so far ahead. And we have about maybe a minute and a half, two minutes remaining. Sandron's hold uh, Massimo's holding on. Oh, I missed right at the end. <laughs> no. Oh, that's brutal. This, I think that might be it. That is a tough miss. I wonder what happened there. I think his aim was just a little bit off. Yeah, it's free combo here. That is a, a, yeah, that's a shame. I don't think there's enough time. Are they both tablet players? Uh, I'm not sure. I've checked their profiles for that. That's where the miss again. Sandron very comfortable on this. He's missed a few of the split patterns, but not too, not too many. Like, look at him go there, it just like, nails him like they're nothing. Yeah, he did it again. It's like, it's so hard to time this correctly. Nice. He's just, just rolling him over. Throwing him under the bus. Song's so good. Oh, he actually held that nice. Well done, Sandron. What a god, Ripper Massimo. Ah! <laughs> All right, well, well played. So yeah, we'll start up the next lobby pretty much straight away.